So I wanted to make a special note really quickly because somebody in class made a great argument for the incorrect answer earlier. And what the person said was that, and I wrote this in red because remember that's incorrect, that the time depended on the height because the higher the little cliff jumper was, the more time it would take for him to hit the water. And this is a great argument, but the reason it's not going to be 100% correct is because, so we've got our guy up here, you know, he goes, he dives into the water. Um, even though he's done diving, time is still going to keep moving on, right? So while it's a great thought that it takes him longer, um, the higher he is, 99.9% .9 of the time, because it, it's not all the time, there, there are going to be some exceptions. So almost always, time is going to be your independent variable. And again, the reason for that is because no matter what, and of course in this case, it was seconds, but no matter what, um, those seconds are going to keep on moving, right? Um, time's not going to stop. We can't reverse it. Well, I guess some people theorize that you can, but until we prove it, you know that we can't do that, right? So 99% of the time, there will be a couple of exceptions, but time is pretty much, for our purposes here, we can pretty much assume that time is always going to be your independent variable.